Hi right, guys, welcome back to SSA Performance. Behind me, we've just bought a brand new Toyota Glanza, what we just bought off Mr. Damrod himself. This one is a very special one because it's painted at midnight purple. Uh, I've seen this one in the workshop before because we fully built it, but the guy broke it and Damrod bought, bought it off him and then Damrod messaged us and hit us up. So we've got a, a Glanza for sale. He was like, yep, we'll have that. So in this one, underneath was completely mint, but we're gonna make it even more mint. So we we'll under sealed it, uh, painted everything underneath, so it looks absolutely mint. I've put a B-roll shot in there. Uh, the engine what's in this car is Sean's engine, but it's fully rebuilt, made 430 brake on the, the dyno. Uh, the only re reason why it didn't make 500 because the stock intake uh, manifold was restricted. But we were very surprised that we made 430 brake. Uh, we've just bought three more glanzers as well this month. So a lot more content will come to this YouTube uh, channel soon. Uh, we've just bought a red shell, a black shell, a silver shell, and this midnight purple one. So loads more awesome content will come soon. Uh, if we show us around this car, this paint job, when I say this paint job, oh, yeah. It's absolutely All you need to see is the wing mirror. Oof. It's a bit dusty, because obviously it's been sat outside sometimes. It's this is proper dusty. Midnight Purple. This is Midnight Purple 3. It's found on the R34, so it's got that orange hue to it. And there's a pretty good shot of it just there. It's beautiful. Yes. So. So I'm really sorry, guys, for the content. has been very slow. I do really want to upload at least two times a week, but... Me and Reese and Sean have been very, very busy. <laughs> Not just doing starlets, we do other stuff as well, but that's what's been happening. Other vehicles like vans, uh, just a nightmare. But obviously, they're all gone now. So all the starlets, what we're going to do now uh, is all here. And also, a big update on Jake's GT. Uh, that video will be dropping very soon. Uh, it's on the dyno. It's all ran in. And also, uh, we just ran into a few little problems, but we're sorting that all out now. Mm -hmm. And the catch can's been made, everything's been made now. So it's all ready to get tuned over 350 horsepower. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just a quick insight onto Jake's car. Um, we've run into synchronization issues with the Dizzy. So what that means is the wiring in the car, obviously it's a GT, so it's what, 30 years old, something like that. Yeah, it's just, we didn't even know. like. We've ran Sean's 400 meter break with that same wiring. The same setup, it's the exact same setup, like mm -hmm. wiring link. Uh, it just happens. It's 30 years old, the wiring loom. Yeah. We just told Jake, we put it to 1.2 bar. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? And obviously, one bar is completely fine. Mm -hmm. So, when we want the boost, like. So, the, so the, these things the, happen yeah. with um, stand on issues, they create a lot of noise. We spoke about it before in a couple of other videos, but yeah. uh, especially with old stock wiring. The, the gauge is obviously different uh, and the wiring is not the same as it is 2024. Yeah. So we've got this, you know, it's a lot older tech. So it's, it doesn't take as much of a beating. Luckily for us, the solution is very simple. And all we do is imagine there's a dizzy here. What we do is we have some um, sheath cable. Essentially what that is, it's just cable that's been shrouded and it gets grounded to either the chassis or the engine. And it gives, it stops uh, noise from traveling through the wires. And what we do is we run it from this dizzy plug here, so we'll deepen this dizzy plug. We'll run our four sheath grounded wires all the way straight through the bulkhead, straight to the ECU, which completely eliminates the stock loom. Means that you shouldn't have any synchronization issues no. whatsoever. So it, for a simple, I don't know, I don't know how much it costs. It's not very expensive at all. The wiring is pretty cheap for what it is. Uh, and that solves all the problems. The only problem is it takes a while to come. So yeah. Jake's, di Jake's car is sat on the dyno, um, just waiting for those wiring mods to be done. And then that video will be finished and dropped. So in the meantime, you've got this one. And yeah. what me and Dan are doing today is just basically putting it back together um, yeah. slowly and carefully. There won't be any first starts in this video, I don't think. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, we're quite a ways this, off. The reason why the engine's all, like, the, dock, the box is a bit dirty and everything, because it's been sat there, there. it's all been covered up. That, that was all covered up the block. We just took it off just to show you guys. Mm -hmm. um, just, just a quick insight as well. This was the 430 horsepower Starlet engine internals. As you can see, we're completely fine. There's no depth marks or anything. There's no depth marks on the pistons. The all the bores are all sweet. 
What this engine failed on was it had high intake air temperatures due to the stock intake. And what we think that's done is it's basically either melted the head or it's done some top work damage, but the bottom end is completely fine. However, before this car gets put back together, me and Dan have got to strip it all, uh, clean it all, so we've got to send it off, get it all cleaned, and we've, we'll be doing a... Might as well just chuck new bearings in. Yeah, it's basically a, a fresh rebuild on this. We'll just put yeah. it in to a, get it off the floor because we don't like them being on the floor uh, and so we can mock everything else up in the yeah. car today and sort of get it rolling and looking more like a complete car. Yeah, so... Should we show them the underneath of it? Because yeah, it's I can set it up definitely set it worth it for sure. Yeah. The underneath of this thing, it's probably one of the cleanest shells I've ever seen, let alone a Starlet or a Glamour shell. It still had the stock spot welds on the sills uh, the whole way down. It's never been done before. So what we've done is we've gone ahead, uh, cavity waxed it, and then just yeah. hit it with a big lick of under seal. Um, as you can see, all the brackets have been done. The party piece is definitely the fuel tank that's yeah, been reconditioned. Been like mm -hmm. So what me and Dan have done panard is we've done rods. the panard rod, and we've refurbished uh, all the lines and stuff like that it's as well. All polybushed as well, which is really good. Yeah, polybushed all round. All the exhaust heat shields are being... I think they've been powder coated, I'm not too sure. They definitely have been powder coated, yeah, they've been shot blasted or sand blasted. Yeah, they've got and then powder coated. coated. It's quite hard to see from here, but you can see they've got quite a, a glossy shine to them. What's nice about this car that Dan's left all the polybrush kits on, which is meant because yeah. we have to do the polybrush because it's a little bit of a nightmare to do some of them. But uh, that's all done, so mm -hmm. that's really good news. There's and an now, example of some polybrushes up there. What we do need to do is we need to get some rear calipers which are on the way. Yep. So this thing needs some uh, front and rear brakes. Yep, As you can see, we've got a nice little anti-roll bar here with an anti-lift kit looking very sex spec. Uh, this is all adjustable here. Bottom arms have been powder coated as well. Yeah. Hubs have been powder coated as well. Everything's been powder coated, which is nice. Obviously the coil overs a bit there, but We'll get some new ones. Yeah, we've got some BCs going on this yeah, car, yeah. I believe. Uh, these are some Cuscos. Still worth some money. I've got like 1,800 quid brand new, but mm -hmm. there's only fronts, so it's not even worth putting them on. So, uh, as you guys can see, though, this car is... It's just too it's nice. Bad. Yeah, it's, it's too nice to sell. <laughs> absolutely mint. I wonder if I want to take this out of the garage. No. Nah. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do for the time being uh, today. Uh, the rear, everything's all, yesterday we done, we took all the rear beam off, fuel tank, um, we've basically stripped all the bottom ends. Yeah, all this was off yesterday, obviously everything. to underseal it properly, you need to take everything off. The whole car was sheeted off as well, because obviously the paint job, uh, I know it's a very expensive paint job, it's like about a five grand paint job, because mm -hmm. it's midnight purple, it's hard to paint. Stage three, pearl paint, so it's, uh, no one is expensive paint to make and find, it's also... Pretty difficult to lay on if you're a sprayer watching this video, as yeah. you probably all know. Um, luckily, we've got we've got a very good, you know, a couple of good friends in the industry. So we're going to try and um, get the front end paint matched up, yeah. or we'll be respraying the whole car the same colour. Uh, if not, our second option is literally just a carbon front end, which I think would look, I think it would pretty, look pretty dapper. Yeah, it looked look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it would look pretty cool. And obviously with a big turbo kit of Sean's G25 550, which a lot of people uh, did say that would not make over 400 <laughs> People said, nah. You'd be surprised as well, guys, that thing, well, me and Sean, I think me, me and Sean are the only people that yeah, been on the road YouTube. test. They weren't that laggy. You'd think, <laughs> mm, for a top turbo that big, it's going to kick in at probably four and a half, five, six, some, maybe. It was in just over a TDO4. Yeah. Four whack was at just over 4k, yeah. and Sean's revs to, or well, this about now revs to about eight and a half. About eight and a half, he did push it because obviously it's his own personal car, but this is going to be tamed down because obviously we're going to sell it and we know who it is who's buying it. And mm -hmm. Potentially, potentially, um, potentially, this could already have a potential buyer. Um, as you guys know very well, the lovely car in the dining room, Jake's GT, um, his dad actually might be the new owner of this car once it's all said and done. It's only potential for now so we'll see where that goes but um i'm sure I'm this sure. car's going to be a lovely little contender for jake's car himself because it's going to be what three at least 300 brake this car will yeah, fully forged yeah, the turbos. big turbo 
fuel injectors, the the whole nine to be mapped on a Link ECU as well. Yeah, so like most of our cars here. It's not going to be any Manic Blue. No. TM4. <laughs> it's going to be just a proper build, really. Obviously, the bottom end is we've built that, and obviously, we're going to build it again because we make insurance when we do sell it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we're going to strip it all down, as Reese already mentioned. Gearbox. When I say that gearbox can probably take about 400, 500 <laughs> without crunching. This gearbox, if we, customer will come down here, uh, I want a gearbox really on full, full nines. This probably about two and a half grand. What we've done is the most you can do to without. So far. So far without straight cut gears. As already mentioned in the last video, I had a couple of comments. Well, that will be very, very shortly soon. He is uh, delivering it to us, the straight cut gears. So, um, this thing's been basically this thing's been pulled apart. It's had brand new bearings. It's got a, uh, a CAS 1.5 way uh, clutch style LSD. Like it's got this. new diff bearings, new shaft bearings, input and output. It's got brand new synchros all the way around. They are the lined version, yeah. which is meant to be better for the high horsepower range. And then to top it all off, it's been cryogenically treated, which means yeah. that this thing has undergone some uh, heat temperament. Yeah. And we've got some Astra boys, Astra H boys that uh, have got the same problem with us. They have chocolate gearboxes. Uh, and we know someone in the drag scene who's got a 700 horsepower Z20 LEH with the standard gearbox. And with this sort of treatment, he's still kicking his head in yeah. and doing 10 second pulls down the drag strip. So, so far, so good. This thing took <laughs> a third and a fourth gear pull at 430 brake. No and it still, yeah, it still feels lovely so we're going to be hoping fingers crossed that this thing can last its length so we know it's capable yeah. of handling 400 yeah, brake but for how long is the question whoever owns this car it's gonna love that gearbox because when i say it will grip in second it will grip in second so <laughs> that lsd is really good mm -hmm. that 330 brake when sean used to have it with a tdl4 uh 21 uh, teeth hybrid it used to grip in second in the dry because that's how good the diff is and obviously the box has been built properly um, not just been thrown together, mm -hmm. it's been properly been built. Uh, also, I just want to show you Jack's GT. Um, mini? Yeah, mini. Another weapon. Um, and this is the infamous, This is, I think this is the most horsepower car, highest horsepower car we have here yeah. to date, apart from potentially the one in there. So. GT, uh, Where do you start with this if people don't know? <laughs> First two words, billet mains. <laughs> yeah, so billet main caps. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you've not already watched them. Uh, our welder, he has made a catch can yesterday and uh, made some brackets, lovely brackets for the screen uh, wash reservoir because we didn't know where to put it, but he came and done it. Took him like not even that long because he, he just got, he's cut off. So, um, Let's try and get a good focus on this. There you go. Yeah. So and this is, this is Jake's it. GT so far. This is the. Uh, we're gonna aim for four. The aim is four hundred. Uh, we'd like to see at least three fifty break out of this. I'd like to think. Yeah, it would do it all day. At like one point five bar. Name, say. name, and mod. It's on here. Uh, it's got basically everything. This is also on a link as well. Um, and what we've done so far with this, it's been running. Uh, and yeah. Sean has been mapping it as I mentioned earlier. It's running sync issues at one point two bar. So we're just waiting on some new wires for the trigger Dizzy. on the Dizzy. And this thing is good to go again. Yeah, so that's it for Jake's GT. We've done loads of oil changes as well because he's bought like five litres of fucking... Millers. Millers. So that's been running properly. No we, messing about with oils. Yeah, what we did was, so the process that we do here is when I first start up, let the model for about five minutes and sl oil. slowly go through the rev range uh, for about another 15 minutes, drop the oil, New oil goes in. We then run it up for about an hour on the dyno, drop the oil, and then we're good to go for a couple of power runs. And then once yeah. the power runs are done, we've got a nice figure at X amount of bar. We'll change it all for a third time. And then once we've done that, we're pretty much good to go for the rest of the tuning session. And then before the car leaves, bang, last oil change. Mm -hmm. And you should be good to go. And then it's every 5K. Yeah. So I just want to do a little update because I've been really, 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 really busy. Here's another so, shot of this car in the light. As you can see, um, one side's blue. That's one not oh, it's, it's such a beautiful colour, as you were saying. Yeah, I just want to do a little update for you guys, because obviously I haven't been uploading, so it's been a little bit of a while. It's been very hectic at SSA lately. We've had, as Dan said at the very start of the video, 
we've not had chance to really do much starlet stuff. Um, we've we've got two or three pretty big projects here currently. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to jumble those around while also doing normal little jobs. So it's kind of hard to squeeze filming timing or content time, if you will. Plus, you guys don't want to see us getting angry, <laughs> shouting at Voxel Vavaros. So <laughs> yeah. we, that's why we've been pretty quiet lately. Yeah, so I just want to do a little data on the things you mentioned. So I'll put it in the video here, guys. And obviously, I've just said Jake's GT is going to be uploaded very shortly. Um, this car, silver car. We've got a couple of cars to do. Some more sort of content coming soon. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Bosh. Comment down below any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.